hello guys welcome to solving solutions on bound channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use this um, chrs data portal to download and um, precipitation data right good so we have loaded the page and then by default you are going to see about five other tabs here that gives you information about different um, data sets right good so you can read the description about each of the data sets available and then how they were acquired right good then if you come down to the if you come down to the lower side you're going to see the data set you would have chosen or maybe the data set you would select and then the time step which is perhaps um, the frequency with which the data was acquired then the domain which is the area of interest or maybe the area covered and then that's for visualization if you want to download if you want to compare and perhaps if you also want to subscribe right good so let's see how we can proceed on today's tutorial we are going to use them um, this second method which is um, the Persian CCS right good so we come down to the data set and then we select that then for the time step let's say we are going to use um yearly right good so we are going to download the yearly precipitation data of the domain we are going to choose very soon so we select yearly so depending on your maybe your project or the tax at hand you can select different um, time step right good so let's go with that then for the domain instead of using the whole globe which we don't need let's um, come down to some political division so maybe country so let's go with this then we zoom into our area of interest we are in nigeria and then let's say we come down to river state right good then we just please select the political division using the word the left mouse so you just click good so it has been selected so let's come down to download because we're not trying to visualize so we can now select we are trying to say we want to download for maybe five years so let's go with 2019 down to 2023 right good then the format let's use um, a t file and then for the compression you can use either zip or tar depending on what you want so let's go with zip so having provided this um, download information let's click on download your data is ready for download enter an email address to begin download so let's use them um, solving solutions email and then we click on download so download the file directly using the word the link good so we have it downloaded we can decide to just cut this is the download folder and again we have created um, a folder under QGIS because we would visualize the data we have downloaded in what in QGIS. So we right click and then we extract it here, right? So we have what the the different um, precipitation data for the five years. So we can do well by selecting all and then we just um, drag and um, drop here on QGIS. So QGIS will help us with the visualization of this tutorial. Now there's something interesting to note it's telling us that layer has no coordinate reference system set so we can just generalize by using what um, wgs 1984 similarly we can do that for all of the data set right good so that has been moved so let's just work on um let's say 2019 data so you double click you select symbology then for the render type you go to single band pseudo color then for the mode let's use them um, equal interval then for the color ramp we would have gone with blues but um, let's look out for a different color ramp and then the classes let's have it as five or let's say perhaps four and then um, click on apply and okay so this gives us information about the rainfall in the different um, locations right good using this um, color ramp if you also want to go further by getting the average within this period of time you can still come back to your raster calculator then you open a bracket 
you add all the raster data close that and then you divide it by the total number which is about five right so we have five here then for the output layer okay so we are back to our rainfall folder so let's call this um, average right and then the format is what jotif you see leave it as what mwgs um, 1984 and then we click on ok so we have an output that helps us show what the okay let's take this out that helps us show the average rainfall over this period of five years right good so we can also do well to change the symbology to something um different let's still use them um, four classes and then we apply and then we click on ok so by method of um, visualization we can see the difference between the two raster data we have right good one for 2019 and then the other for the average from 2019 down to or maybe up to 2023 right good it's okay yeah 19 to 2023 so we have shown you using um qgis to visualize the data we downloaded from what chrs data portal right good that shows the the rainfall information of um, this particular location right so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye